Hi folks, Puffin here with your Antifa News Briefa for September 24th, 2021. This is another entertainment edition, just about the show Alter Ego, my reaction to the show Alter Ego. Really not much of my reaction to the show itself, um, but to one thing in particular. Uh, the show was kind of like um, Uncanny Valley, The Voice, except it wasn't that Uncanny Valley. It was alright. I'm used to seeing um, some of the Star Wars Clone Wars cartoons, so I'm kind of used to this animation style. Their eyes were a little, you know, too big, but like some, like a certain animation style I've seen too much of, maybe, or enough of to be a little bit used to it. It wasn't that unsettling. It was a little unsettling. It was good enough that it makes you want them to continue. Like, it makes me want to tell people, watch this show. Like, make this show succeed because it's cool enough that if they put a little more into it, and I'm not that they didn't put enough effort into it. I mean, if they put a little more money into it for the, um, for the, the sinking of the, the, uh, features, uh, the expressions and the, the motions of the, of the people in it, um, to make the avatars look more realistic. If they put more money into those effects, um, it, it'll be pretty cool. I mean, it's already realistic enough that it's not unsettling. So when I say it's an uncanny valley of the voice, it is a little bit, the, it, people are a little bit jerky. There's a little, the, the um, avatars are a little bit um, unreal looking because of, like I said, like really big eyes, like anime style, um, which is, you know, uh, attractive and endearing in a way too. But again, with a little bit more subtle expression to it, I think it'll be better. So hopefully it does continue. I did enjoy it. Um, I really liked, I don't want to spoil much, but I really liked uh, the singer that got uh, eliminated. So um, I just thought that, that that the avatar was, the spirit came through the avatar um, in a really unique way that, um, and in, it, I don't know, I was really impressed, but they were all good. So uh, yeah, it was a good show. I was, I was, pleasantly surprised by the show. But what I wanted to talk about, the reason I had to make a video and had to include it in the Antifa News Briefa, is Grimes had a comment that, uh, what'd she say? That we shouldn't resist working with, this maybe is an example of how we shouldn't resist working with robots, but be friendly to robots. And I'm just like, ah, it's like, oh, it'd be, or sync up with robots or something. And I'm like, it reminds me of how the, um, what do they call it? Singularity community, like many, most communities, most groups or <laughs> hobbies or whatever in the world now have been infested by fascists. Uh, there's like terrible fascist streaks throughout so much of everything. It's ridiculous. Um, fascist streaks in your ice cream. It's, uh, it's bad. And the whole idea about being afraid of robots we don't have to be afraid of robots. We have to be afraid of people. <laughs> like there's obviously bad people. And if the bad people get to make the robots, then it's bad. And the reason I, I have to say this is because Elon Musk, I mean, he's gone bad. Like he's a bad person. That's Grimes' boyfriend, which is as far as I know why I'm aware of Grimes. Um, and He's a bad person who would buy bad robots. You know, he's he didn't maybe used to be a bad person. He used to be a symbol of good people. Like, I'm, I made a whole thing about Morrissey and how he got immortalized in The Simpsons after becoming terrible racist Brexiteer and or ex exhibiting those traits openly when people didn't know or could deny it before. But, uh, you know, that's how you got immortalized, and it's too bad. Well, Elon Musk got immortalized in The Simpsons before he turned out to be a terrible Trumper jerk and spreading genocide. And, you know, when he was just making electric cars or whatever. And yeah, I kind of wish that The Simpsons would get to him again. Not that he deserves to be in there twice, but they deserve to be able to pan him for the stuff that he's done since then because his last image was good. Anyway, I'm thinking Grimes... Your boyfriend is the one who's bad. It's not robots. We don't need to be afraid of robots. We need to be afraid of some people and, you know, root out some of their influence. So it just seemed ironic, and it made me think also ironic that 
she's kind of she's on the show because she's Elon Musk's girlfriend. I don't think she was, uh, you know, she's on there with Alanis Morissette, who is you know highly accomplished. Grimes, I don't think I've ever heard her music, so I don't want to say anything against her. Like if I have her, if I hear her music in the future and think she's awesome, then I'll be like, oh, you know, she's awesome. But I haven't heard it, so I don't know. But like I hadn't, I'd have maybe heard of her before she started dating Elon Musk, but maybe just because, you know, they were getting her name out there. Um, but when she started dating Elon Musk, I wasn't like thinking, oh, I should go listen to her music. And so I didn't. And I didn't just, as far as I know, I didn't ever come across it in any way is what I'm saying. And it's like, you know, nobody's heard my band, Fox and F-O-X-Z-E-N. Um, Ways Out is a song. W-A-Y-S. Uh but yeah, nobody's heard our music, but we're really good. Now, we might be better than Grimes. I don't know. She might be better than us. I haven't heard her, heard her music, so I can't judge on the music. But I do know that I know of her because she was dating Elon Musk. And since I still haven't heard her music, or her music hasn't been out there as far as I know, um, I just imagine that uh, that's why she's on the show. Not because of some musical accomplishments or, um, you know, musical acumen, but because you know, the celebrity status of being Elon Musk's girlfriend, and he's pretty famous. So, point being that when she said something about communist robots a while back, it made me think, that's probably what she refers to Elon Musk, but it, you know, it made me think that this show is an interesting analogy or an interesting place for her to be, because it's kind of like she's a personality that he doesn't have. So in a way, she's like his avatar, like a, a personality stand-in for him, or in a way she's like the personality behind an avatar, you know, just depending on which way you want to look at it. But uh, she's the personality and he is not. Anyway, point being that she doesn't, you know, legitimize him or make him cool or acceptable or okay. And then that comment just seemed to exemplify that to me. Like, we don't need to be afraid. I'm the one to tell you we don't need to be afraid of robots. I'm, you know, I've... You know, I'm in with the guy making electric cars, so, and, you know, various other things. So, the you know, future technology. So, I'll tell you, we don't need to be afraid of robots. It's like, we need to be afraid of robots if they're made by evil people. We need to be afraid of evil people. We can actually make robots that are good and help people be better. So, instead of being afraid of artificial intelligence, intelligence is good and kind. Instead of being afraid of artificial intelligence, we need to be afraid of artificial stupidity. These trolls and bots and stuff, they're spreading terrible lies and misinformation. And the people that buy into it and repeat the same things bots say with a little variation, because they're human, but, you know, are basically effectively bots. That's artificial stupidity and what we need to be afraid of. Or, you know, weapons of war, like robot terminators or whatever, is stupidity. And something we need to be afraid of and afraid of meaning we need to just avoid it I mean, avoid the people that would make that but artificial intelligence we can make compassionate robots that are more compassionate than most people are currently but then can help teach people compassion so that's the read I'm looking for and you know just don't like people demonizing robots because robots are just what people make them so obviously it's the people behind the robots that are the demons, if anybody is, or the people with, you know, the, the responsible for something bad. So let's pay attention to who is in control and, you know, take control for good people to do good things. Um, and yeah, enjoy the show. It was, it was fun and I was really good performers. So uh, yeah, hopefully it'll keep going. But just wanted to make that comment and thanks for watching. See you soon.